Hello, this is Clara from Clara's Homeschooling. Today I will be reading Lara the Yellow Ladybird. It's about a ladybird who is a little bit different and gets upset by this, but she soon finds out that these differences make her really special. I hope you enjoy. First question, how many red ladybirds are there? Lara the ladybird was a special bug. Unlike all her friends, she had bright yellow wings. Everyone loved her wings. Each morning, Becky Butterfly said hello, and Matthew Mantis always waved. Even Sarah, the sulky spider, was happy to see her. I have a question. Why do you think the spider is sulky? At school, she played with lots of her friends. I have a question. How many friends can you see? But Lara wanted to be like the other ladybirds. I wish I had red wings like you, Mum, she cried. I have another question. Why is Lara upset? So one day, to cheer her up, Lara's mother painted her wings bright red. The next morning, nobody greeted Lara on her way to school. And when she got there, none of her friends said hello. My question is, why did nobody say hello? Until Miss Kelly spotted her and said, You've painted your lovely yellow wings. Lara's classmates were shocked. Your wings are special. So unique, so rare. Lara, Miss Kelly said, your yellow wings are what makes you you, like Tom's spot and Ellie's legs. My next question is, are they happy that she painted her wings? Back home, Laura took a long bath and scrubbed until her golden wings gleamed. My next question is, how many spots does Laura have on her wings? I'll never paint my wings again, she thought, except maybe once or twice. To try a bit of purple? or something nice, but not forever, and just for fun. That's the story of Lara the Yellow Ladybird. The last question is, does Lara now like her yellow wings? Everyone is special because everyone is different. Now I have a really exciting task ready for you. So can you guess who this is? This is me when I was about seven years old. What makes me different is that I'm really good at being creative. Your special job is to get an adult to take a photograph of you doing something that you're really good at. Maybe you're super sporty or you're the fastest in your class. Maybe you have a beautiful voice, or maybe you're really good at moving and throwing some shapes on the dance floor. <laughs> I'm really excited to find out what makes you special. Your turn. Do something that you're really good at and make sure that somebody takes a photograph of you doing it. Okay, your final job is that you're going to write about what makes you special. Okay, so I am special. 
capital letter to begin a sentence. I am am special. Sp sp e. So sometimes a cook can make a s sound. Special. So this is how we write the word special. So you can use that to copy if you'd like. I am special because. So we're using our conjunction to join another sentence to this one. Be k o s in a silent e. Eh. Because I. So capital letter when you're talking about yourself. I. Ah. M. Because I am good. G. O. Oh, d. Good. At. At. Art. Art. And then finally, what do you do at the end of a sentence? Full stop. So your job is to write your own sentence about what makes you special. Maybe you are special at a few things. So make sure that you write all of these things down. Your turn. Write a sentence about what makes you special. Well done if you did all your jobs. Amazing work. I hope to see you all very soon. And um, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And check out my Facebook page, Clara's Homeschool, to find more resources.